Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Today's video is gonna be just vlogging the end of Ramadan and our Eid plans. So today I'm doing some Eid content. I just put together a cute little family outfit situation and hopefully we'll get that done. Elena has not been really wanting to do any pictures or videos recently, so hopefully this is not gonna be that hard. <laughs> I tried to pick something really easy to do. Tonight we're going to dinner at my parents' house. Last night I started getting sick. I caught a cold from Elena and I felt felt awful this morning so it's like a miracle that I pulled myself together and I'm not even fasting today because I felt so so bad when I woke up this morning that I was just like I literally need water. I'm gonna try to get this last little bit of content in and then after today I am not gonna be doing anything because we're gonna be packing for our trip and getting ready for that but that's gonna be a separate video. We are all dressed and ready and we're about to go get the content Amanda's gonna take it for us. And then this my baby and she's in a really cute dress and what are you watching? <laughs> Ducks on Instagram. <laughs> she's obsessed. <laughs> oh shit, we're back. Lele, we're gonna go with your auntie. She's so cute. wanted to update you guys because our patio furniture came in and it is so gorgeous you guys I feel like it looks like restoration hardware but it's from Amazon and it's so beautiful hey when what you can have coffee in the morning <laughs> sit here and enjoy the coffee soon Omar soon, soon. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got the pillows I'll also link those they're from Amazon and then I wanted to show you guys because I'm about to start planting for my little garden, my potted plants. I got these beautiful pots from Home Depot and I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can get this done because I've never, I don't know, I've planted before but it's been several years so we'll see if I can remember how to do this. Yeah, we literally kill everything that we plant. Yeah, I forgot that I need like actual gardening tools and um, gloves but thankfully my husband has I got you. in the garage. <laughs> to show you guys the final results we were filming a tiktok for a bug spray brand that's why omar was in the footage just getting shots of me but it turned out so pretty i wonder how long this mint is gonna last though with elena because she's just gonna want to pick it as soon as she comes out here but it's so pretty and i'm so proud it is the day before eid which means it's the last day of ramadan which is actually so sad for me i'm about to actually leave for a nail appointment i have to finish packing today it's just a very very busy day so i'm gonna try to take you guys along a little bit at least and kind of update y'all i've actually been sick the past like three days i got a cold from elena and elena was sick for like a day and then she was She's been fine and now I've been struggling for the past like three, four days, honestly. I'm trying to get my skin kind of in check before Eid and before our trip. And I have been using this Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. Have any of you guys tried this? It is actually so good at like smoothing out your skin. I saw a difference with one use. They actually sent this to me. This is not sponsored at all. I'm really loving this product and I've heard so many good things about it, so. If you guys are interested, I'll link it below. It's really good for like texture, clogged pores. Apparently it's good to help like clear your skin. On top of being sick, I'm actually on my period again for the second time during Ramadan, which is so crazy. I started a little bit early, I guess. And I don't know if it's because fasting like messed up my cycle or what, but y'all, I have so many days to make up for this month. I have 12 days to make up, which means I was not fasting like half the month. 
How is that even possible? This is the Discoloration Defense by SkinCeuticals. I like to get on top of this, especially during the summer months because I get a lot of discoloration with the sun. I need to go put on some sunscreen. I'm not doing any makeup today. I'm just gonna do like a makeup free day. This is the Laneige lip mask. My lips have been so dry. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready and we'll go get our nails done. Thought I would give you guys a little update because Elena saw her Eid gift early. Omar put it together and left it out. And so I was like, you know what? Whatever. Let's just go ahead and put her in it. See how she likes it. And you guys, she had the biggest mental breakdown of her life. It took me 30 minutes to calm her down. I, it was so sad. I felt like a terrible mom. She was terrified of this car. And I didn't even turn it on. Like, I just set her in it. She was that freaked out about it. This was a fail, but I did talk to you guys about it on Instagram, and y'all said that you had a lot of the same experiences with your toddler, and they warmed up to it. We'll see. I'm leaving it out, and we're seeing, like, what she thinks about it. I don't know, but every time that I men even mention car, she starts crying, so yeah, we'll see. We may just have to put it away and wait until next year. Get ready to go to my nail appointment, but I wanted to chat a little bit more about just how I've been kind of feeling towards the end of Ramadan. Today, with it being the last day, is honestly so like sad for me, and I don't know if it's because I'm on my period or what, but I just feel like I did not get the most out of this month. This has honestly been like my worst Ramadan that I've ever experienced. I think it's just because I haven't really been able to like put forth my full effort into extra prayers, reading more Quran. I, I feel like I did read a pretty good amount of Quran, but uh, I just feel like I could have done so much more. Like I feel like I usually do so much more and I'm trying to be gentle on myself because I know like now I have a toddler and it's a lot harder. I'm chasing her around all day while I'm fasting and working and at the end of the day I'm literally just so exhausted exhausted that I don't have time to like stand through tarawih. I can't actually go to the mosque because I have Elena at home that I have to be with while she's sleeping and I don't know I'm trying not to be like hard on myself and disappointed with myself but it's hard not to do that. If any of you other moms are feeling that way, then just know that you're not alone. I'm trying to remind myself that taking care of my baby and my house and my husband and everything, all of that is a form of worship in itself. Us moms, we just, we definitely have it harder <laughs> during Ramadan and I'm definitely experiencing that more now that I have a toddler, even from last year when Elena was, how old was she? She was still a baby. got back home we love that place because they are non-toxic and all the products that they use are like so good and like clean and everything and she's sleeping Eid Mubarak everyone. I cannot believe we finally made it. It was so fun just taking you guys through all of Ramadan with us. Now it's Eid which is so bittersweet knowing that we just said goodbye to such a beautiful blessed month but I'm excited to spend time with our friends and family today and I hope you all have a wonderful day. We're about to go to Eid prayer. Hopefully we can make it there in time. I'm all ready. Omar's almost ready but Elena's still asleep so I still have to get her up and get her dressed and all that stuff so hopefully we'll make it there. But let me show you guys what I decided to wear. I decided to wear the Veiled Collection matching a bias set to Eid Prayer. I might change a little bit later uh, for brunch, I'm not sure. And then later tonight we're doing a little picnic charcuterie thing at my parents' house. So I'll be changing for that because we're going to do a little photo shoot then. Elena! <gasps> Look who's ready for Eid! Eid Mubarak, baby girl! You're so beautiful, mashallah. Bubbles, bubbles. <laughs> Wow. Bubbles, Lily. Look, more bubbles. Bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> bubbles. Hey guys. Hey. We just finished up Eid prayer. I was actually late, but made it there in time to see everybody. I guess yeah, we, sta you can. we yeah. stood outside and hung out for a little bit. Now we're going straight to brunch, and this one lady kissed all of us, and I got lipstick, literally both sides of my hijab. Perfect. Love it. I 
we're back home. Alanda's gotta take a nap. I gotta take a nap. <laughs> And then later tonight, we're gonna go to my parents for our little picnic thing. So I will see you guys over there. Elena, you got it. What's that? Bad. Bubbles. <laughs> we got the bubble Look machine my out. Woohoo! Bubbles. And then her Lainey brought her some blocks. Thank you. I just got to my parents, and they just finished setting up this gorgeous. Yay. Picnic spread. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm gonna leave all the vendors' names down below if you guys are in the East Texas area. It just turned out even prettier than I even imagined. And look at this charcuterie spread. Oh, I'm so excited. It looks like kind of boho with the pompous, very neutral. And Lele, look at Helena's dress. Hi, Mama. Princess. Obligatory stop in the mint. She takes one sniff and then she has to get a new one. Okay, we just got our shots. <laughs> and now we're gonna... Now we can actually enjoy it. I was saying my favorite part. Oh my god, guys, I just stepped on. What'd you step? <gasps> Lauren, you check yourself, Lauren sweetie. Lauren is the dramatic one in the family. I just want all of y'all to know. Okay, I was gonna show you guys how. Oh, I just stepped on whatever Lauren just stepped on. But my parents have these beautiful honeysuckles in their backyard and they are so fragrant and they smell so, so good. When we were little, we used to take the honeysuckle and then you like pinch it and you like bring the nectar out somehow and you like suck on it. And that's why they call it honeysuckles, I think. <laughs> that's what we used to do anyways. They smell so good. I grew all of this in my garden. I bet you did, honey. I did. 